Hi guys and welcome to the advanced section of the Auto Hotkey tutorials. In this series I'm going to be focusing on um, programming concepts that apply for Auto Hotkey scripting and in general I'm going to also review um, scripts and functions that um, and in general any tool that can help us out on creating better scripts. In this particular video I'm going to be checking out the HTTP carry function created by Derafile that is one of the guys in the Auto Hotkey uh, forums which um, uh, created this particular function which is very handy. What it does is that it sends get and post requests to URLs and you can save the result which that URL sends you back into a variable. So this is very handy. I'm going to show you two examples of um, some working code that actually how it works. Um, basically the first parameter that you pass to this particular function is going to be the name of a variable in which you want to store the result from the carry. The second parameter is the URL that you're going to be making the carries to and the third and fourth parameters they are just used in some cases for example the post data is um, used when the form in which you're sending the information to receive post requests. Not all the forms um, accept this kind of request so um, usually you don't need this and the headers of the HTTP request that you're making it is also something that it is just in some particular cases in which you're going to use that. So the first example that we have in here is um, getting our IP address, our public IP address from a web page which gives you that information like for example this particular case I'm using cmyip.com which um, what it does is that it just simply it is just a, a URL that contains your public IP address um, and what we're going to do is that we're going to um, use HTTP carry to get this HTML file and we're going to read this particular number in here and um, we're going to use a regular expression for that. Of course you can use URL download to file I believe it is called the, the command for that um, but in general um, I'm just checking out how this particular function works. Um, one of the things that I w that I like about this particular function is that the, the information goes directly into a variable. I do not have to um, to you know read a file or something. In this particular case let's see um, one particular note when you're receiving information from from um, a web page which is pure text like an HTML file in this particular case you we need to use the the, uh, the function var set capacity for the for the variable that we set as the receiver of that information because the function, the HTTP carry function, does some some changes to the variable size and stuff, and we have to resize it again. And that mi minus one in there, what it does is that it resizes the variable size into the to the current um, contents of that variable. So um, that is nothing weird in there. It is needed in this particular case. And let's see how how we actually get when we run this particular script. Um, Basically, as you can see, we have a message box with the HTML file that we received from um, the HTTP carry that we just did. And as you can see, we have the the text "my IP is" and then you have your IP right there. So we're going to use a regular expression, and I have it done already. Um, as you can see right here, the um, way how I created that regular expression is using a tool, an online tool which is very very cool actually um, it is a regular expression tester created by the by the guys at gethighfive.com and it is compatible with auto hotkey because they use um, they use the Perl regular expression engine and mostly actually I would say 90% of the times that I create regular expressions in here it works there are some times that it doesn't work because this thing in here uses global and for example the function regex match um, is uh, only returns one at the first match and stuff like that so you have to um, be aware of those but in general in this particular um, tool grabs every sub pattern and what it does is that it assigns a color to it so you can actually see how the the, um, the matches are being made and everything so in this particular case what we are going to do is that we're going to grab the URL that we just saw so what we can do is that we can copy it from here it's the same 
and then we paste that in here then I just simply start saying what I want to match so in this particular case I want to grab the is and then space and then as a sub pattern I want to match actually there's two spaces there as you can see um, and then we're going to match a di digits a dot digits again and so on so by the way we just do it four times and that's what I have in here in the file um, it is the same regular expression as I mentioned it is uh, they work similar so I'm gonna match that particular um, um, number in there I'm going to store it in the in the variable called match and as this is a substring we're getting that in the array match one so we just have message box um, for that particular match and when we run the script now we're simply going to get that particular IP address and that is something that it is um, very interesting that we can do that so simple no? um, we don't have to read a file we don't have to do anything we just simply make the carry and we make a match on that particular variable that we set as the result um, receiver now uh, well, we're gonna see a second example and this one is a little bit more complicated because we're sending a post data um, the first one was a get that we just simply retrieve the information from a web page um, very simple you know it is the, what you do with your browser and then we just simply acted upon that particular variable but in this particular case we're going to send information to for example pastebin.com so what happens is that um, we are actually sending information from a, a form and you can read the documentation they have an API online that is public so we go to pastebin.com and uh, they have this information here in the API and they tell you that you would just simply send a post request to that particular URL and then you're going to send these parameters and those parameters are the ones that I have here in my script so um, in this particular case I'm just saying what I want um, as the code as the name of the paste the subdomain and some other options um, all of that I'm storing it in a variable called post and the URL I have it in the in the variable called URL so in this particular case and this is something that I wanted to explain you the um, the, the web page that you are actually carrying can return differ, different kind of information in the beginning what we saw is that we got the HTML file complete uh, the complete HTML file but in this particular case when we make a post request to this particular um, API public.php um, page we're going to get um, the URL of the of the paste pin that we just created and that is something that in this particular case it is very simple um, again we just simply um, set each of the of the parameters that it requires and by the way we have to append the parameters um, with an ampersand on the front so what we're actually sending is something like this we're saying um, HTTP the A API and then we're sending something like paste code equals something in here and then we're sending an ampersand sign on the next parameter paste name for example equals test so in general this particular type of URLs um, sometimes you can paste that on your browser and it works the same as if we are using this particular script and stuff but as you can see every time you're putting a new parameter you have to put the ampersand sign and it's the same in HTTP carry in here each parameter when you're putting a post request if uh, that web page requires that you will need to put the parameters with an ampersand sign on the front then after that we just run the script and what you're gonna see is that we have an error of course so let me save that and there you go what we get is the 
the URL for the pastebin that we just created. So it is very useful in this particular case because we just sent um, the information with our script using just this function, and the page, the web page that we posted to, already does all the all the work for us and just sends us back what we need. So we just copy this particular box. It is simple. Whenever you have a box like this, you just simply Control C on it and you're gonna get the information that that box has and uh, now we can just simply go ahead and open our, our paste and as you can see everything is sent exactly as I as I posted it with the script so in general this is something that um, this particular function is very very useful and these are the basics of how you can work with it. I hope that this is helpful and as well this particular um, testing tool in here, the the, um, the Hi-Fi tester, is it has saved my life a lot of times, especially with regular expressions, because you can see right away how, how the things are matching before you go onto, onto our hotkey. Then you make some other tries on our hotkey and you're set to go. So with this I'm going to be finishing this video guys, I hope that this um, clarifies how this um, particular function works, I mean in a general sense. Um, if you want some, some other examples more detailed than that, you can just simply go to autohotkey.com and you just put in here HTTP carry. And the second option in here, the second the second match, I don't know why is that, but this is supposed to be the first match, but it's the second match, and in here, when you go to the first um, um, page of that particular post, he posted several examples, like for example, um, showing the raw HTML, um, showing a dump of an HTML form to help making a, val a valid post parameters request and this is very help this particular script in here is very helpful for um, for example when you when you want to post um, if post they uh, you want to get make a post request to a, U a URL and then you want to know how the what the form is because actually what I do is that I go for example to pastebin.com um, let's say uh, paste2.org which is another paste based service and what I do is that I enter into the web page and I check on the on the on the source code and in here I just simply look for form and here I look for a formula which the action the method is post and after I am in there I just simply look for um, any kind of input so whatever you see um, an input label for example like this one the input in here the parent the input for the submit and stuff like that you can send those as parameters in this particular case you can also send this in here um, the description is it's not an input but it is also part of the formula that you can send it is optional in this particular case and the code in here is also a text area but usually there are input um, but as you can see you just look for that formula which has the method post and you should be good to go but um, they already created a script for you you just re you just um, run the script and you should be able to get the the parameters that you that you need to send to that particular formula form um, they have also uh, downloading binary data and those are very useful scripts as well as uploading to image hack and modifying DW flags that is for advanced things um, in this particular case it is for advanced cases of um, you know, HTTP requests I don't use that but it can come handy um, in some particular situations so again guys um, this time I really got to finish the video I hope this is helpful and see you guys next time.